Hey Wild Ones, I'm Lucy and this is Pussy Powered. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a mindful yoni egg practice for beginners. Now, if you have not seen my video with yoni egg basics, be sure to check that out here. In that video, I go over how to care for your egg, what types of different crystals are commonly used for yoni eggs, benefits of a yoni egg practice, and how to insert and remove your yoni egg. In this video, we're gonna focus on the actual practice, so be sure to get all of those specifics and basics from that video. Before we begin the actual practice, go ahead and warm up your body, warm up your pussy, prepare your egg by washing it with a gentle cleanser, and if you're using a drilled egg with the floss, go ahead and thread the floss through the drilled hole. Then insert your egg using either a natural lubricant like coconut oil or just a touch of your favorite lube, or no lube at all. Totally up to you, whatever is comfortable for you and your pussy. You can also do all of the movements from this practice without a yoni egg inserted. If you want to start out without the egg and then introduce the egg into this practice, you are absolutely welcome to do that. Having your egg inserted makes it so much more effective. Now that you have your egg inserted, let's begin. First, lie down on your back with your knees up and your legs in a nice stable position. Now we're going to begin by massaging the belly. If you can do this bare, I highly recommend it. Be sure to use your favorite natural moisturizer like coconut oil or massage oil, vitamin E oil. We're gonna massage the belly down by the pubic mound. Now massage your thighs, the inside of your thighs, even back here in your buttocks. <laughs> Top of your thighs, inside thighs again, working your way up to the belly, back down. And as you do this, breathing deeply. So deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now lay your arms down by your side. And on your next deep inhale, you're gonna imagine that there is pure light energy flowing in through your pussy. And then on the exhale, we're gonna squeeze in, squeeze those PC muscles like you're stopping the P flow. So these are the AVCs of doing a pelvic squeeze. Anus, vagina, clit. Now, this is just squeezing inside. You shouldn't see any contraction on the outside of your body. Literally, you could do this anywhere out in the store if you wanted to and people would not be able to know that you're squeezing your pelvic muscles. So let's practice doing that squeeze first. Squeeze those muscles, imagining that you're squeezing your asshole, like you're stopping your poop. <laughs> and now squeeze a little deeper, imagining that you're squeezing the muscles right in your vagina, and then squeeze even deeper and forwards, imagining that you're squeezing your clit. Associating an image with the anus, vagina, and the clitoris helps so much. So there you have it, the ABCs of a pelvic squeeze. So that's what we're gonna do on the exhale. And when you're exhaling, you're also drawing in the belly button as you're squeezing, deepening that squeeze. All right. So let's practice, here we go. Inhale, imagining flowing light through your pussy. Now exhale and squeeze, A, V, C, yes. Squeeze all the air out. Inhale again. Light flowing into your pussy, ooh, yes. And then exhale, squeeze, A, V, C. Again, inhale, light in, and exhale, squeezing. And you're just practicing the squeeze right now. You will get better and better at this the more you practice. Inhale, and squeeze. Squeeze. 
Great, one more time, inhale. And squeeze, exhale, squeezing that egg in there. You can really feel it in there. Yes, good, now relax. So now what we're gonna do is inhale and squeeze those PC muscles around your yoni egg as we do a hip raise. So everything is really squeezing back here. You're gonna squeeze your butt cheeks with it this time. So this is what that looks like. You're gonna inhale, squeeze. Exhale, relax. And we're gonna do that 10 times. Are you ready? Here we go. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Two, fully exhale, inhale again, three, and exhale, release, inhale, exhale, fully release. Going for five. Inhale all the way and exhale, release. Six, inhale, squeeze, really squeezing in around your egg and exhale, release. And let's go for seven. See if you can squeeze a little bit tighter, more snug with every rep. And release. Inhale, inhale, squeeze your butt, squeeze around your egg, and exhale. Two more, queens, two more, here we go, nine. Squeeze and release. And last one. Squeeze a little tighter and release. Good. Now just rest here. Keep breathing in deep. Letting your body rest and relax. Your glute muscles may not be used to working in that way. So if you notice some cramping, let yourself rest in this position for a moment before we move on with the next exercise. Now what you're gonna do is imagine that you're squeezing the right side of your pussy muscles as you flex your right foot and then imagine squeezing the left side of your pussy muscles as you squeeze and flex your left foot, alternating sides. Ready? Here we go. Flex the right foot as you imagine flexing the right side of your pussy muscles and release. Now flex left, flex right, flex left, really feeling your egg in your body. Squeeze right, hug that little egg, left, Right, left, of course breathing, inhaling and exhaling with each flex, right, left, right, and left, good. Now we're gonna come up into a seated butterfly position. If this position is uncomfortable for your legs or you're not quite flexible enough to hold this, then come into a cross-legged position. Otherwise, let's go ahead and assume the butterfly position. What we're gonna do on this one is lean back and create small circles on the floor with your tailbone. 
your coccyx. If you're on a hard surface, you may want to get a little cushion or a blanket or some kind of more cushy surface to sit on. And as you're making each rotation, as your hips are moving forward, you're relaxed. As your hips are moving back, you're contracting and squeezing your egg. Here we go. 10 on each side. Forward, back and squeeze. Forward, relax, back and squeeze. Three and four. How's that feeling? Five, squeeze, six, squeeze, seven, squeeze, eight, squeeze, nine, squeeze, and 10, squeeze. Now rest for a moment. Take a deep breath. Now we're gonna move on to the other side to wrap up this practice. Here we go. Forward, squeeze at the back, and two, four, five, six, seven, and good. Staying so really present with your body, feeling that egg last circle. Good. Now rest in this position. Let your legs relax. Relax your PC muscles. Notice what that egg feels like in your pussy right now. How are your PC muscles doing? Maybe your vagina is a little tired. Those muscles may not be used to being exercised. Now that we finished today's practice, you can gently and slowly remove your egg. Or if you'd like, you can repeat this practice or any of the exercises we did today and continue wearing your egg mindfully. Be sure to revisit this practice and feel free to extend your time on any of the exercises we did in this practice. Set your intentions at the beginning of each practice while also releasing the expectations for your pussy to do any particular thing any particular way. Increase your awareness of what your pussy can handle in each practice. Let her speak to you. Let her tell you what it is that she needs. That is a clear indicator of what you may be needing in your life on a larger scope. And as you continue to do your yoni egg practice consistently, whether it's every day, every other day. In fact, three sessions a week is a great place to start. You can begin to build that sensitivity in your pussy and get used to what it feels like to have that egg in place and exercising these muscles purposefully. You may notice that your orgasms begin to intensify, that you begin to access different kinds of pleasure within your body, you may begin to feel more sensations in your G-spot, your cervix, your A-spot. And if you had any issues with incontinence. I know what it's like to be jumping on the trampoline and pee yourself a little. I did that for so many years before I began to strengthen my pelvic floor intentionally. Then you may notice that the incontinence isn't as bad as it used to be. And in general, you may notice that you are feeling more connected to your body and to your pussy, to your feminine essence, to your sexuality. Whatever it is that you notice as you do your yoni egg practice, I would love to hear about it. So please be sure to revisit this video and comment below on what your experience is with this practice. Also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video as I will be releasing more practices in this Yoni Egg series. That's it for today's practice and today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and subscribe. Here's to your unleashing for a pussy-powered life. <laughs>